Hello, we are Tetsu and Reed, an international couple living in Japan and going to travel around Japan in our van. Today we're going to Nokogiriyama, located in Futsu in Chiba Prefecture. My sister is visiting us today for a vacation, so we have a guest. Yeah, this is like an area that tourists don't usually get to see. Um, like foreign really? tourists. Yeah. Uh, this like, is how do they get to countryside? Yeah. Uh, you know? But they can take a train. But yeah, from Chiba, really gonna go like, to the... you know, it's, it's kind of, it's a lot. So people are less likely to go. Megan is clear, you can see Mount Fuji from here. It's just shy today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see the ropeway. He daddy. Oh, he daddy? He daddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is the base of Nokogiriyama. From here you can use the ropeway to get to the top of the mountain. You can also hike it, which would take a while. We do recommend using the ropeway, it is a beautiful experience. Information is available in different languages. The ropeway comes every 15 minutes. The ropeway is about 680 meters long, and it takes about 4 minutes to reach the top. We're over halfway there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, not looking, just like Meg. <laughs> the hike could be scary to some. If you're not afraid, there is a beautiful view. On days with less humidity, you could see Mount Fuji from here. <laughs> from the top, you can see the Tatayama area to the left and Futsu to the right. The view from the top is beautiful but you have to hike down to see the Buddhas. So we have muscle legs after this. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hey, Meg should film us walking. Yeah, sometime. Meg, will you film us walking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, from behind or from the front? Behind. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> we already got a new ca cameraman. Yes. <laughs> I charge a hundred dollars. I think Meg will stop filming because she might um, die going down the stairs. Excuse me. Meg, look at them. I can do this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Atsuri. Atsuri. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Is that steep or steep? Steep. Yeah. Steep. Steep. Really steep. steep. Yes. Yeah. Reed loves trees. This is the entrance. It's easier to hike down and then take a shorter way back up. It costs 700 yen for adults and 400 yen for kids. Our first stop is the Hyakushiaku. Our first stop is the Hyakushiaku Kanno. It is a giant Buddha carved into the mountain. Shiaku is a size unit, it's about 30 centimeters. Hyaku means 100. So in short, it's about 30 meters. <laughs> the area here is cool and refreshing. This is the popular spot to take photos. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
have to look shot at the camera. <laughs> I'm going to get behind you. <laughs> this is the popular spot to take a photo. We are going there. Wave me! Wave me! <laughs> wave, it. wave to me! <laughs> wave to me! <laughs> wave to me! <laughs> Wave to me! <laughs> nice! Scared? Kawaii! Let's see. The sun is killing me. <laughs> yes! Uh, like slides. Shaking? Oh, shaking. How about you? You're okay? okay. Yeah. We are going down. Thank you. Oh, you filmed that? <laughs> <laughs> Delete it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. What? <laughs> oh. Today's shabu shabu. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. How about Kiki? No. <laughs> Finally. How are you? Just sweaty. Sweaty? And my legs are shaking. Look at this. This is amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Watch your hand. It is actually really high up. Oh god. Oh. What do you want?
For lunch, we stopped at Banya. It's a popular large restaurant against the ocean port. There is a small souvenir stand here and a little fish market. Throughout the day, you can see them drying fish. Since it's a popular store, it can get crowded. We came on a weekday and we still had to wait a little. Wait, what's this one called in Japanese? Hirame. Hirame? Hirame. I, I think it's flounder. <laughs> this is what I call it. What's this? Um, is that eel? A kind of eel. Ooh. Anago, it's called anago. Wait, wait, wait. Got this one, <laughs> and we got this one too. No, <laughs> oh, excited. Yes. This is Hota Shokaku, a Michino Eki. A Michino Eki is a local road stop for travelers. They have restrooms, shops, food, and local goods. This Michio Eki is special. It was once an elementary school. After closing in 2014, it was transformed into a special roadside stop. It has four restaurants, a sento, and even overnight lodging. The local community wanted to preserve the feeling of the old school. Inside the building are the original school equipment. They are now used for community center classes. One restaurant even offers kushoku, the elementary school lunches. The gym is now Satoyama Market. This is where you can buy souvenirs and also local goods and foods. We liked that this Michi no Eki sold local artist works. And of course, plants. It is a really wholesome experience and we recommend it.